With just four days to go until Tuesday's primary, the Republican race to replace uh, Connie Mack in Congress is way too close to call. Tuesday's winner will face the Democrat Jim Roach in November. Four New Corners Matt Grant showing you where the crowded GOP primary race is now. Matt? Well, Patrick, six candidates are duking it out in a down-to-the-wire effort to get your vote. But one political professor says this race all comes down to one thing, turnout has been purchasing pornographic domain names. A flurry of fiery ads could boost last-minute turnout, but according to FGCU political science professor Peter Bergeson, they won't be a game-changer. Well, I think the attack ads uh, play a role. Are they going to determine the outcome of the election? Probably not. What will affect the outcome is name recognition. If they recall their name uh, and something positive with that name, they're the ones that that's the person who's going to jump out ahead. Ferguson says this is really a race now between the top four frontrunners. In his opinion, that's Paige Kriegel, Gary Aubuchon, Trey Radel, and Chauncey Goss. I think the winner will be one of those. Not on his list is newcomer Byron Donalds, who won the Lee County straw poll. I don't put much uh, faith in the predictability of straw polls. I would not put him as a high finisher, uh, frankly. But finishing first in a tight race will be tough since Bergeson predicts just a small percentage will decide the election. That's why he says turnout is so important. The, the candidate, again, uh, who gets their voters to the polls will be the key. With the race already neck and neck, Bergeson says it's hard to predict, but gives the edge to one candidate. I probably would uh, put my money on uh, Abishan. But the real bets will be placed Tuesday, and in this horse race, anything can happen. The candidate who gets their organization, identifies their voters, they'll be the one that wins. As we said, turnout is going to be important. Election supervisors are predicting a 35 to 40 percent turnout, which is about average. Bergerson says it's not rare, but it's also not common to have a race with so many people be so close. It's also important to mention that candidate Trey Radel is married to Fox 4 anchor Amy Wegman. The winner of the GOP primary faces Democrat Jim Roach in November. Live in the studio, Matt Grant, Fox 4, in your corner.